As we begin to exit Shadow Glen, we come across an elf named Porthanis who offers you the quest Dalinar Delivery. All you have to do for this quest is take Dalinar's supply order to Kaldamar the Innkeeper in Dalamar. As you follow the long, windy road, you'll come to a signpost crossing. As you pass the signpost crossing, you'll see a red elf with long horns named Zen Falhoof. Speak with him for Zen's bidding. All you have to do for this quest is return with three night saber fangs, three stigital owl feathers, and three swatches of web wood spider silk. Now begin doing the quest Zen's bidding. Now head back to Zen Falhoof and turn in the quest Zen's Bidding for 450 experience points and your quest item. Now begin heading down the path again until you get to Dalinar. As you enter into Dalinar you'll notice a building to the left with a mailbox. Enter into this building. As you enter the building you'll see a female elf standing at the bottom of a ramp named Sentinel Kyra Star Song. Speak with her for the quest Seek Redemption. All you have to do for this quest is collect three fell cones that are lying underneath random trees and give them to Zen Falhoof. Now it's time to sell those useless items that you collected along the way. If you need to buy any new weapons or armor, now's a good time to do so. Head up the ramp and you'll meet Innkeeper Keldemar. Speak with him and turn in the quest Dalinar Delivery for 110 experience points along with an item of your choosing. Don't forget to make Dalinar your new home point. Now turn around, head down the ramp, and head to the right. Go out the building and down the hillside and you'll see a moon well or a fountain on your right hand side. As you get close to the moon well, begin speaking with Quarthris Moonrage and turn in the quest Crown of the Earth 2 for 230 experience points. He will then offer you the quest Crown of the Earth 3. All you have to do for this quest is take the Jade Vial and fill it at the Moonwell across from Zen Falhoof. Now go behind the Moonwell and see if there's any fell cones around the two trees near the back. Now turn around, enter back through the building, and out the entrance. When you exit the building, you'll see another building across from you. There'll be a ramp, and at the bottom of that ramp is a lady in a blue dress. Her name is Surreal Bladeleaf. Speak with her for the quest Den Allen Earth. For this quest, all you have to do is take the package she gives you of rare earth to Den Allen at Lake Ala Meth. Lake Ala Meth is actually located behind the moon well next to the inn. Head up the ramp and speak to the elf in armor named Arthritis Bearmantle for the quest A Troubling Breeze. All you have to do for this quest is find Garalos Talveteran inside the second floor of the building at Star Breeze Village. Head inside the building and head up the ramp to the second floor. When you get to the top of the ramp, you will notice a lady named Aldi to your right. Speak with her and she will let you buy small brown bags along with some other things. The most important thing here is the small brown bags because you always need inventory. Head out the doorway on the other side of the room up the ramp to the third floor to Talonkai Swiftroot. Speak with Talonkai Swiftroot and he will give you two quests. The first quest is called the Emerald Dreamcatcher. 
All you have to do for this quest is go to Star Breeze Village and bring back the Dreamcatcher. The second quest is called Twisted Hatred. All you have to do for this quest is go to the cave behind this building and kill Lord Metalus. Now that you've finished collecting all the quests in this area, begin doing Seek Redemption and Crown of the Earth 3. Now that you have your three fellow cones, give them to Zen Falhoof for 624 experience points. Head forward to the signpost crossing and take the path to the right which will lead you to the moon well. Once you get to the moon well, fill up your vow for the crown of the earth 3. Turn around, follow the path back to Dalinar. Once in Dalinar, head back to Corthrus Moon Rage and turn in the quest Crown of the Earth 3 for 340 experience points. He will then give you the quest Crown of the Earth 4. For this quest, all you have to do is take the new vow to the moon well in the Pool of Arliteran on the west side of the map, just right underneath the city of Darnassus. If you reach level 6 by now, head back to your trainer and get whatever new abilities you need. Now it's time to sell those useless items that you collected along the way. If you need to buy any new weapons or armor, now's a good time to do so. Pass the moon well up, and as you get closer, you'll notice a lake in the distance. As you head towards this lake, it becomes clear that it is now Lake Alameth. Continue running forward towards the lake. Be careful, because the orange creatures that are roaming freely are called Timberlings, and they will aggro you. Once you get to the lake, you'll notice a dock to your left. What you want to do is swim to the right side of the dock and exit the water. As you exit the water, you'll notice an elf in a long brown robe. This is Den Allen. Head to Den Allen and turn in the quest Den Allen's Earth for 230 experience points. He will now give you two quests. The first quest is Timberling Seeds. All you have to do for this quest is kill the Timberlings that are roaming around and bring back eight Timberling Seeds. The second quest is Timberling Sprout. All you have to do for this quest is collect 12 Timberling Sprouts, which are inside the little green pod scattered throughout this entire lake. Begin doing both Timberling Seed and Timberling Sprout quest. Now that you've finished both quests, head back to Dan Allen and turn in your quest. Turn in the quest Timberling Seed for 624 experience points. You will now be offered the quest Relin Greenspire. All you have to do for this quest is take a Timberling Seed to Relin Greenspire located inside Darnassus. Turn in the quest Timberling Sprout for 800 experience points and an item of your choosing. Now it's time to sell those useless items that you collected along the way. If you need to buy any new weapons or armor, now's a good time to do so. Now exit through the entrance and begin going west towards Darnassus. Continue along this path and you'll come across three riders. One of the riders is named Moon Priestess Amara, who is riding on a large white saber tooth. She will offer you the quest, The Road to Darnassus. All you have to do for this quest is slay six gnarled pine ambushers. Follow down the road just a little bit and then start doing the quest Road to Darnassus. Now that you've finished the quest, The Road to Darnassus, find Moon Priestess Amara and turn in the quest for 700 experience points. Now it's time to head to the cave to the north. 